Well, today is the day. You guys have been asking, you guys have requested, I have promised, and today I am delivering. You have asked me on my Instagram and here on my YouTube account, what's in my bag? Well, today is the day. I wanted to show you what I had in my bag in 2018. The year is coming to an end, but we're gonna get it in right now. Let's go. If you are new to the channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the little notification bell as well, so that you don't miss out on any of the new content. If you're not new, you've already been here and subscribed, you're telling me to hurry up. Let's get on with it because you've heard all this before. The plan for today is to go through my equipment, what I have in the bag, and then to go through the pockets because there might be some things in there that you might find useful as well. As many of you probably know, I do use Callaway golf equipment all the way through, Odyssey putter, even Callaway golf ball, and we'll dive into all of that as well. Let's get started. Let's get started with wedges. I carry four wedges. I'm gonna show you the first three and I'll show you the other wedge in a second. So we'll start with my 60 degree. These are the Callaway MD4 wedges. Uh, this one here is the C grind, so it's 60 degrees of loft with eight degrees of bounce. Shaft wise, I have the Rifle 6.0 Project X shaft in this. And that's about a stiff shaft. I could play a little stiffer, I could play 6.5 but I don't like it to feel like a telephone pole. I like to have a little bit of play in the shaft. 6.0 works out good for me, I like the feel of it. Grip wise here, this is a Golf Pride. I don't know the exact model, but it does. it is a half cord. So it has cord on the top section of the grip, which is where the gloved hand will go. And then on the second half of the grip here, there is no cord. That's where the non-gloved hand goes. A little softer and a little nicer on those fingers so that they don't get worn out. Now wraps wise, I have two and a half wraps. So two wraps all the way, and then a half wrap down the bottom part of the club. That just thickens up that bottom part of the grip, makes it feel a little more comfortable in the hands to me. All of my clubs are one degree upright. So that's my 60 degree. 56 wise, again, the MD4, the Callaway MD4, 56 degree, this is the S grind. This has 10 degrees of bounce. So I do like to have a low bounce club and then a little more of a say mid to high bounce club. And we'll get into that in another video. This again, Project X 6.0, that is consistent all the way through my irons and same grip, same wraps. Finally, with the three wedges that I'm showing you here, this is another Callaway MD4. This is my 52 degree or call it a gap wedge, whatever you like. This is the same shaft, 6.0, rifle tour flighted, same grip. Let's jump into the next club, which is my pitching wedge. Okay, quick sidebar for a minute. If you would, please comment down below. Tell me what equipment you use. You might just mention one or two clubs. You can mention the whole entire bag down in the comment if you like, or whatever your favorite club is. Tell me the brand, the club, and a few specs on it. I'm interested to know. Are you a, also, are you a golf club junkie? Do you love equipment? You've got to have the newest, latest, and greatest. Comment down below. Okay, my fourth wedge here is the Callaway Apex MBs. Now these clubs here, I play this pitching wedge through three iron. These are all again, one degree up. Rifle, Project X 6.0, same grip, same tapering again, two and a half wraps underneath the whole thing. 
This club here, I'm not sure what the standard specs are on this, but I have it bent to 48 degrees. I have four degrees of loft all the way through my clubs. That gives me a pretty good gapping, and it's just the way that I've always played it. Most pitching wedges these days are a bit stronger than that. Depends on the set that you're playing, the brand that you're playing. And like I said, that's all the way through the bag. These clubs, they look great, they feel great. I've always played somewhat of a blade style club. There are definitely more forgiving clubs, but if you're pretty consistent with hitting the center of the face, these can be a really good option. Next club in the bag, this one, we're gonna to have to have a little bit of a chat about this. It is the hybrid. You guys might have seen it if you follow me on Instagram and here on YouTube. You've seen me do a lot of different videos with this all the way to different chip shots around the green. Let's get this out of here. This is a four hybrid, the Rogue hybrid. This club here is an absolute smoke machine and it is so versatile. Like I said, I mean, all the way from long shots to chip shots around the greens, furry, fluffy lies up against the collar. I use this club a ton. Now the problem is, and I wished in 2019, the USGA and RNA would say, hey, you guys can carry 15 clubs. That would be a game changer because then I could keep this in the bag and have no issues. I've always carried long irons. So for me, you're gonna notice when we go through all of these clubs that in total, I have 15 clubs. I use this a lot to teach with. Oh, it's a absolute challenge for me to work out what club when I can only have 14 which one I drop out of the bag and a lot of it depends on the golf course and how I'm playing at the time if I'm not playing as well this definitely goes in the bag winter time I also throw it in the bag like I said for all of those tight lie shots around the greens this thing is an absolute champion in terms of the shaft this is a stiff shaft I play X in my driver we'll get into that in a second stiff just again I don't like it feeling like a telephone pole same grip, two and a half wraps. And this is the Aldilla Synergy Sharp. This is a standard stock option in this particular club. And it is a legendary club. Okay, so we're gonna walk and talk about my fairway wood here because the wind is getting a little shaky, blowing that tripod around. So let's just walk and talk about this. My fairway wood here is the Rogue 3 wood. I believe it does come in a Sub-Zero model, which is a lower spinning model. For me, the fairway wood, you have to think about what is its purpose? What is it going to do in my bag? For me, I need it to be able to launch a little higher, have a little bit of spin, so that if I'm trying to hit it into a green, say a par five, for example, that I have a chance of stopping it. I don't want a low flat bullet going in there and going through the back of the green. If I'm using it off the tee box, which I do, then it's more of a position club. Distance is really not the most critical factor. So think about that if you're looking to purchase a new fairway fairway wood. Again, it is a fairway wood, but it's great to hit off the tee if you need to. Shaft-wise, the Evenflow Project X, it is a stiff shaft. Again, I could probably play it a little stiffer, but I don't want a telephone pole in there. And then grip-wise, exactly the same. Same grip all the way through.
Time to talk about the big dog. And yeah, we're walking and talking again. I'm gonna throw a blooper at the end of this so that you can see. I know you can't probably hear the wind, or I hope you can't hear the wind because I'm doing my best to try and block it, but it just took down my bag and yeah, I'll throw a blooper at the end. No big deal, but we'll walk and talk about the driver. In fact, first of all, we'll talk about this very cool head cover here. Callaway sent me these, and this is the head cover or head covers that the Callaway staff players used at the US Open this year at Shinnecock Hills in New York. So all of the Callaway players were rocking these along with their uh, special limited edition golf bags as well. So that's the head cover. I get quite a few questions and comments about that. But now let's talk driver. This right here is the Rogue Sub-Zero model. Nine degree, but I actually have it cranked down to eight degrees. Shaft wise, I have the even flow. This is extra stiff in this case here because I want this thing to be a little stiffer. I want this thing to be able to perform and be pretty reliable. Obviously, I'm gonna go at this as hard as I can and it's not as hard as it once was, but I do wanna be able to hit this one a pretty good way and I don't wanna overpower this shaft too much. It's been a great driver. I really enjoyed playing this. I'm interested to see what Callaway have coming out early in the year for 2019, because this is a tough driver to beat. I'm sure they'll do it, but we'll wait and see on that one. Another subject that I get a lot of questions about is the putter that I use. For those that have followed me on Instagram for quite a while, you know I've got a lot of putting videos up there. The putter that I roll and rock in those videos and in my daily play is the Odyssey XO. It is the Rossi model. This is their high MOI version or putter line, I should say, meaning that there's a lot of forgiveness if you hit off the center of the face. So you should get a relatively consistent roll, consistent speed for those off-center strikes. Grip-wise, it's a little dirty, so I apologize in advance. This is the Super Stroke. I have never used a bigger, thicker grip before. This is the 2.0 Mid Slim. They sent this to me, and it felt pretty good. In all honesty, the next putter I go, I may go back to a regular grip, but that might be hard to do after using this one because I have gotten used to it. And yeah, it feels pretty good. Putter-wise, performance-wise, this thing rolls very nice. So those are the clubs that I've been playing for 2018. Now let's go and take a look inside of the bag to see if there's any goodies in there. Could be a bunch of junk or there could be some good stuff. I don't know, I'm gonna go with some good stuff because it's my bag and I don't really carry junk. So there could be some things in there that are useful for you, some things that are not at all because they're all tools that help me make these films. I don't know, let's just go take a look. Stop talking, talking a lot. The bag that I'm rolling with here is the Callaway Rogue Staff Bag. Pretty cool bag, got lots of good compartments. We're gonna get started by going into this compartment here. Before we do, I need to mention, no putter cover on there. I dropped it on the course the other day and nobody turned it in. Not cool, folks, not cool. Pocket number one, this guy here is magnetized and I'm just gonna pull this contents out here in a second so that we can take a look and see what it is. But yeah, just flip shut. I think it's waterproof, I'm not entirely sure. It's got this shiny material in here. So I don't know if I'd put valuables in there or not. It could be designed for that or, you know, for me I put some, well, I'm gonna show you what I put in here right now. So this pocket is really, you know, it's a convenience pocket. It's what do I need at a moment's notice. I have my driver wrench tool in there. If I need to make any adjustments, you cannot make adjustments mid-round, so you gotta make those before. I have these sleeves here. These are UV sleeves that I wear in the summertime. Definitely not really any need for them now, but guys, you have to protect your skin from that sun. I had a bit of an incident, a little bit of a scare earlier in the year, and I do try and cover up as much as I possibly can. So get yourself some of those. I'm gonna put them in the link down below, or I'm gonna link an Amazon, put an Amazon link, something. There's gonna be a link below where you can get these. They don't have any logo on them, they're white. They're, yeah, they're nice, so I'll just throw that down below. You're welcome on that for your skin. Also, yep, got a pen in there if I need to make any notes, whatever, you know, just throw some stuff down. 
glove wise i've got the this is actually coming out i don't know if it's out yet or if it's coming out this year really good callaway tour authentic glove leather yeah feels good gloves are tricky it's so easy to go through these a really good idea is put them back in the plastic wrapping that you get don't cram them up and jam them into your golf bag in particular in the summertime you know when you've got sweaty you jam them back in the golf bag you pull it back out it's like crusty crunchy like a piece of cardboard don't do that if you want your gloves to last look after them okay a couple more things that i have in here i have this wind gauge actually probably a good idea if the batteries work to try and test this out today let's see okay turning it on of course i haven't used this for a while and low battery this is one of those things you buy thinking that you're probably going to use it quite a bit and this would not be legal to use in play i wouldn't think but the batteries don't work so thanks all right what else do we have of course i have a tape measure i do a lot of skill games and we often need this thing here i actually just shot a video with brody smith where we needed the tape measure it was a cool skill game that is not up yet, so I can't link it down below, but make sure you go check out Brody Smith Golf, and sometime earlier in the year, you're gonna see that particular skill challenge. Tape measure, super handy. This right here is my life. Bit of a left wrist injury that I've had for quite a while. This thing here, I have to tape up my wrist anytime I'm hitting balls, so that is always in that convenient pocket, and the manufacturers of this, you're welcome, because I buy a lot of it. I don't know why I'm throwing everything. I look after my gear, so I shouldn't be throwing it, but apparently I'm throwing things today. And of course, a Sharpie to mark golf balls. You have to be able to identify your ball. Obviously balls have a number, but a lot of people use the same ball. So you need to be able to put a little marking on yours to make sure you can identify it. Okay, two more right here. Let's, let's see what we have in these guys here. Ooh, golf balls. Some other stuff. Let's see what that other stuff is. First tool in the front compartment here is my string line. This is a putting tool that I make. There's different versions of it on the internet that I wouldn't even bother buying. I would just make it. You're going to make a better job yourself or do a better job yourself. These metal skewers here, these are just some meat skewers that I got from, you can get them at Walmart. Target might even have them, not sure. Cut them in half, just ground them down and file them down so that they're smooth and don't poke a hole in the bag. This is stretchy string elastic. This is one of the greatest tools. And I'll shoot a video down the road here showing you, I guess I'll show you how to make it. And then I'll show you uh, how to use it, which is obviously the most important thing. This never leaves my bag. I've had one of these in my bag for over 20 years. All of my students have these. You can work on putter face alignment, read, speed, path, face I mean everything it is such a great tool and just so easy and convenient to use and carry next item it is deflated right now I haven't blown it up I guess I could blow it up for you it is the tour striker smart ball you've probably seen a lot of players use these like Justin Rose very very popular really good training tool I guess we'll just blow it up but yeah great for a lot of things I think I'm gonna shoot a video for this too That was one breath I blew that up. That's pretty good. To a striker, smart ball. I'll put a link below to this as well. This is a great tool to throw in that bag. Again, when you deflate it, very easy to carry around. And there's probably some videos. I mean, definitely if you go to the Tour Striker Instagram page, I'm sure they have a great YouTube page as well. Martin Chuck is the man behind this absolute brilliant invention slash training tool. Go out and get one. This right here would be probably almost of no value to you. This is a microphone that I use sometimes when I'm recording. Most of the time I've got the lapel mic here. This one here uh, mounts right onto the tripod that I'm holding here. Plug it in and yeah, it's a pretty handy dandy little microphone to use as well. Again, not gonna help your golf game at all. Also in that front compartment, my golf balls. These are the Callaway Chrome Soft X. So they have the X and then they have the Callaway Chrome Soft. The Chrome Soft is a little softer, spinnier ball. This one here, very, very good if you're a high spin player like me, happy days. This is a very good golf ball. I've used it all year. And durability wise, very, very good. 
I would definitely recommend giving them a try. Try the Chrome Soft and the Chrome Soft X. Start on the putting green. We might do a video on how to choose the best ball for you, but just a couple of quick tips. Find a ball, first of all, that feels good off the putter face. If it doesn't feel good, doesn't sound good on the putter, and when you're putting, you're not gonna like it anyway. Then take it around the greens and chip with it. Does it have enough spin? Does it have too much spin? Does it release too much? Figure that part out and then start to back it up and go further back. Does it give me enough distance or does it spin too much? Those are some of the things. We'll do it in another video. Okay, so we've gone through those three zippers there. Also in this bag, this zipper right here, I've got some old balls in there. Don't use the new ones all the time when you're out practicing. You know, throw some old ones in there that you don't mind if you lose or scuff up or what have you. Make sure you use the new balls for game day, putting practice, that sort of thing. Okay, what is this in here? Very important tool that you must carry, absolute must. Okay, what is this absolute must product? I know a lot of you know the answer already. It is Athlete's Foot Spray. No, it's not for foot or fungal issues, which, well, it actually is, but that's not why it's in the bag. If you have those issues, go ahead and get it. Spray those feet, get those taken care of. I'm not a doctor, so don't listen to anything I'm saying with regards to that, but you can use this as impact or contact spray. Spray the face of the driver or the iron, whatever the club may be, and it will leave the impression, it will leave the ball mark there so that you can work on contact. I've posted a lot of videos on Instagram, some on YouTube, maybe. If I haven't, we'll do some for you. This is an absolute must tool. Again, this is Dr. Scholl's Athlete's Foot Spray. There are other brands, and I've even heard of other people in other countries that don't have access to this that say dry shampoo works. I don't know, comment down below if you've used some other products. Attached on the side of the bag here, Bushnell Range Finder. Having some kind of range finder to me is a must. So use it in practice if you can't use it in tournament play, although a lot of tournaments will allow you to use the non-slope model. But having one of these when you practice is really gonna help you understand how far you hit your clubs. Okay, side compartment. Let's see what goodies lie within here. The first thing you will have noticed in the bag is this right here. So obviously this is rope all wrapped around. I've got a carabiner or whatever you call these little clip dealies here. Clip, I don't know, whatever. I've also got along this different measurements marked out in terms of feet. So what I do is obviously I do a lot of skill training with my athletes. The cool thing here, and if you're a golf coach, you might want to do this. I just clip this onto the flag stick and then I can measure off if we're working on proximity to the hole. This is a really quick tool. If you don't need to carry the, oh, tape measure, yeah, that's what you call them, then this, this is a game changer. I carry an extra glove in here. This is not the packaging that you'll see on the shelf. This was kind of like a pre-release version there. Definitely need some extra gloves in the bag just in case we either wear a hole in it, we get wet, whatever the case may be. Also in this compartment, I carry these balls. I've got the balls that I need and the tees that I need to do skill drills. And these are also, sorry for the rustling here for a second. These are the Callaway Chrome Soft Truvis. This is the stars and stripes ball right here. Don't blur camera, stay nice and clear. So yeah, they've got some really cool balls. Uh, you know, if you're looking for something exciting or a cool gift, these Truvis are really good. But I do like to have a nice compartment. You know, you can get any type of bag. I just like this one because if it gets wet, no big deal. But I like to have that stuff just ready to pull out of the bag so I can get stuck into skill training. That is all for that compartment. Let's zip around to the other side, see what's in there. Okay, second side compartment here. What do we have? What is this orange bendy thing? Is there anything else that's any good in here? Why is there another tape measure? Let's find out. As I have previously said, the orange bendy thing that lives in my bag, you've probably seen this in many videos if you've seen any of my stuff before. This to me is an essential, can do a lot of things with it. It's pretty inexpensive as well. I'm gonna drop the link to this down below. Great for working on attack angle, arc height, all those good things. I'm gonna list most of this stuff or as much of, much of it as I can down below so that you know, if you wanna get any of it, you can. But orange bendy tool, must have. Why on earth, why do I carry this? 
I, I've got one. I already had one. Actually, I've got three things to measure out. You know, I guess just carrying dead weight here. Okay, and also I have in here a, what is this? A silicon trivet. Yeah, this is super handy. You will have seen this before on some Instagram videos. I use this for low point control, put it behind the golf ball. If you bottom out early, you're gonna hit this. I normally carry a white wooden board, and again, that's been in a lot of videos, but I gave my last one away. Need to make some more. Silicon trivet, very, very handy. We'll do some more videos on that coming up shortly. And sun protection. Gotta have the old bucket hat to protect the ears. That's where my issue was earlier in the year. Gotta have a good bucket hat. In fact, let's go bucket hat now. Mm, on second thoughts, let's switch back. Yeah, we'll stick with that. But don't forget, take care of your skin, please. Cannot stress it enough. This sun, well, no sun today. Well, there is sun, but it's not that sunny. And I guess you still get burnt. I do have sunscreen on right now. We're rambling again, moving on. All right, around the back of the bag here, we've got some really good compartments here that I actually don't use because it's sitting on a golf cart. Those are up against the back of the cart there where it's a little trickier to access. So I don't really use these, but that's where I would keep my wet weather, my rain gear. One other item that we haven't chatted about, these alignment sticks here. You should have a couple of those, carry them in your bag. Make sure that when you throw your club down, that it doesn't wedge underneath that cover because that will scratch the top of your driver. But having those obviously is super helpful. Just go to Home Depot or Lowe's and buy those. Don't spend a ton of money. These are like $2 a stick at either of those hardware stores. Well guys, that is it for today. You've seen the, this isn't actually quite as comfortable as I thought it might be. Either way, thank you for joining in today. And actually, you know what? There could be fire ants down there too. So let's get up. Go ahead and hit the like button. If you like what you saw today, leave me a comment. If there's another part of your game that you need help with, just drop that in the comments below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I kind of feel like I've got ants on me already. And guys, of course, until next time, good golfing. These are the head covers that the Callaway staff players used out of the US Open this year. Thanks, Wend. Thank you.